Fresenius. Beautifully. Uh, dropping uh, the, the acorn bit. Okay, so tell us why this is so important in the industry. So this is really a, a really interesting situation. Um, they've come out, Fresenius have come out and they said that there was something really wrong in the way that Acorn was reporting its drug data to the FDA. And they're saying that is reason enough for them to break up this merger that they had agreed. And it's a big merger. Um, we don't know exactly what they found. They put out a very brief statement, just that there was something not quite right. Uh, Acorn have hit back and said they will fight vigorously to get this merger done. Now, crucially, if Fresenius can prove that there was something called a material adverse change, they will be able to walk, they'll be able to cut this. But no party, no acquiring party has ever successfully proved in Delaware court that a material adverse change has happened. So what's likely to happen here really is that Fresenius will recut the deal, they'll probably do it for a, a discounted price. And if you remember last year, there was a similar deal when Alir agreed to buy Abbott, they found all kinds of things that they didn't like, including some, you know, really, really, really serious misdeeds, but they still had to go through with the deal. Well, but mm. Does Acorn have any choice but to fight this? Because apart from losing the deal, if they've really been lying, as it were, to the FDA, that's a big problem. It is a big problem. And look, they've also had other things going on. Their chairman was actually uh, caught up in a racketeering probe, so he left oh. last year. So this is a company that has, has a lot of issues. But what they're saying is none of these things were um, sort of secret when Fresenius bought them. So they're saying, look, mm. you knew all of this. This was all in the conditions of closing. And if you guys didn't do proper due diligence, that's not our fault, that's your well, fault. So they do, you're right, they have no choice but to fight. But was there any deterioration in Acorn's business that might make it worth for Stanley's time to try to get out of this deal? Or as you say, renegotiate the price? Well, for Stanley's is saying, if you were lying to the FDA... Sure, no question, right. but apart from but, that... But, well, no, but their point is that the drugs, the success of those drugs is sort of predicated on the FDA actually approving them. And if you gave us false information and the FDA false information, then what we bought is not what we thought we bought. Quick, quick question, Acorn has the termination fee, though? Is Acorn is on the hook for the term. No, it's not unusual. If, if this deal doesn't go through, and it's because something, something that Acorn... Uh, lied about or something that they misled the acquirer about, then Acorn would be on the hook for that. But as you take, look, Acorn have to fight this. They will fight this. But the market, you look at where Acorn's trading now, about $13 versus somewhere over 30 that they had yeah. agreed to sell themselves for. The market thinks this is, at the very least, going to be a very long, drawn-out affair.